Okay, so this is part two for the review. On part two, you, we will be actually showing you guys how to combine this guy. So basically the com combination process involves using all these three units and slapping on onto Guy Gar to make Gal Guy Gar. Now, I, I would like to mention that there are these, there might be certain parts uh, or pieces that I actually took out from the insides of these guys just for the sake of my sanity because those are all Technically from technically from this guy uh, because just for the my sake of my sanity and those are the very very critical issue parts I, I, I've been mentioning for a while All right, so let's see what we got So if, one thing I forgot to mention regarding guy guard is that the articulation on the legs I want to show you guys that you have a very nice bed, but you can also go for the bend forward now this is technically also you might think oh that's just because isn't that because of the transformation for Galeon? Technically yes and no. Um, there's also another reason for this guy. So because for those who know Galagar I should understand, but for those who don't know might be wondering why why is that? So yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys the pr overall process that the anime goes for. So let's see what we got. So number one, uh, uh, let's just go with the basic. You fold the feet down and then you twist or you rotate the legs like this and then you open these sections up fold out the front skirts or side skirts whichever you like to uh, define them define them but still and then there you go you have the basic unit ready and you also try to let's just get things ready so when you're doing this I the manual does suggest you use the fist hands and I think it, that's only logical to do so because that's the way how the toy was well the toy yeah uh, DX toy a very long time ago, but yeah, and uh, oh yeah, so regarding this on the back There's these pegs that you can actually open up. This is the pegs that you use to connect the stealth scale to uh, To his backpack as well, but in this case you use an entirely different method. So uh, just bear with me like that Okay, so we're Okay, so we did that and we're pretty much done for this guy. So let's leave this guy for now And then we go to uh, drill gal. So you split these guys up once more uh, once again, if anything on the process, if anything goes a little bit sloppy, I'll be skipping that to, you know, with the cleaned up version. So keep that in mind. So uh, you can see these are the feet. So you can do that. You fold that up. You pull this thing outwards like that. Uh, for now, this is just a uh, temporal, uh, temporary thing. And then you're supposed to fold this thing outwards, forward. Uh, now this part might get tricky because depending on how you're built, how clean it is, this might come out very smoothly or this might be a very pain in the butt <laughs> to do so. So you can see there's all these latches going on here and you have to make sure you open this section up. So let me check this out. So yeah, you have to fold this out 90 degrees so you have a nice hole going on there. So um, let's see. So you're supposed to plug this thing all the way in, but keep in mind, uh, certain parts need to meet so you can see this latch here has to meet with this part so doing this extremely clean might be very difficult i'm just gonna say that right off the bat so you plug it all the way inwards now it's, it's oh yeah and before you do that make sure you also push these all the way in yeah forgot to mention that so there are some preparations that you do need to do for guy gar so yeah and then everything should start going in properly if I did everything properly, so sorry about that. So uh, there we go, I had to push it a little bit more forward and there should be enough clearance to go in there. And now if you're not sure when you're supposed to stop, uh, after going in to some degree, you can actually push this part in and click it in. So this will lock it into place and yeah, it'll basically give you an indication where the leg should be. So that's that. And then you all need to, um, which we call it, close the threads here and like that and there you go now technically to be more uh, clean you actually have to match the you have to match the latches here to the knee section or this joint here so once again because there's two of them i'll be right back with the cleaned up version okay i'm back so i was able to reconnect all both knees properly and yeah uh you might have heard a few comments from other countries or a, a few people mentioning on like sns where the combination is kind of annoying uh, these are the, like the small parts, like connecting each small area to a certain area. It's it really gets annoying. So I'm probably I'm pretty sure most people are gonna like buy this, combine this a few times, and leave it as Gal Gal for for some time. Now, once you have all the legs connected, the manual also mentions to extend the um, the side armors here outwards a little bit, so which I did, but I don't think that really contributes to any articulation here. So it, if it's something if you forgot to do, I don't think it's a huge big deal if you ask me. 
All right, so now in the anime, originally they would tell that this would go through first, but once again, I'm just gonna show you guys that. So, uh, yeah, the train actually goes through all the way in to the middle, like that. And then in this case, uh, the, the, the magnet tells you to lock this up like that. So by pulling this up, there's going to be a small, uh, if you put this down, there's going to be a small pick out, uh, I believe that comes out, but I believe by doing this, it, this kind of locks it into place so that it doesn't move out. So really well done as well. And then you are able to, you are now free to do this. You can now collapse the backwards, back sections like this and yeah. And then this is where Stealth Gal comes in. Of course, before doing that, now this is slightly different from the show. So what this would technically slap onto the back as this, but the manual tells you to take these parts out first. Yeah, so that's that. And then you also need to do some pre preparations here. So basically it's all involving like opening panels and such like that. So I believe you have to go like, you have to pull these down downwards and then open these sections up and then close this part up and then extend do that and you might see yeah there you go there is is the helmet or yeah the way how this works is that after all the combinations here this would actually uh, cover up the original head of guy gar and this is where the faceplate is supposed to be you're supposed to like latch on the faceplate to here which falls out extremely easily but once you have this helmet on to guy guard it's actually get, it actually gets a little bit more easier to attach so that's just the way how it is and you can see the, there's these wires going on here so that was the leftover this is where you're supposed to use the wires but not every length that they provide you so you have you do have need to cut a little bit off and because of this you might notice that okay the articulation on the head is not going to be that great because it's pretty much going to be locked into place to some degree all right, so uh, actually, you know what? Just for the sake of my sanity, so you're supposed let's just pull these guys outwards, do this, and then let's pull down the arm. So I believe in the manual they tell you to uh, pull these parts downwards first, but it's not easy. I've I've been trying to do this without this without that fly that specific piece flying out of the place. Uh, so once again, I'm just gonna pull this and wing it as well. So I'm just sorry for the overall messiness but once again showing this process on camera is extremely difficult anything combines and it should, you have to show the process in front of a camera it's not gonna go easy i'm just gonna be honest with that like filming i've done this before showing any combination or any transformation process in the video not easy so you can pull these sections out and then so you're supposed to pull these downwards first on the train you can see you're supposed to pull this downwards first and then you can pull this out but once again that is not as easy as it seems so on the process on this side i actually had to some some part uh, flew off so once again that's that and then i'm gonna well obviously i'm gonna bring that piece back so and then you're supposed to uh, actually there we go uh, and then if you did everything correctly everything should fit in here properly so let me just check that and yeah now keep in mind this thing does not go all the way in so just because it's like uh protruding out here doesn't mean you did it wrong so that's no need to worry about that and then uh there we go you're supposed to pull this up and then you're supposed to twist this 90 degrees and then connect this part to this part and problem is is that this part is extremely stiff so once again, I'll be right back before that process because I don't want to risk breaking anything right here. Okay, I'm back. So here is a more uh, cleaned up version going on here. So the tricky part is that I didn't have this issue before, but uh, once again, you have to match the fins, like these joints, the location, the angle, you have to match them up so that they go in there cleanly or it's going to be like protruding out a little bit like now at the moment. So uh, once again, really up to your, um, it, it does require some, you know, fiddling a lot if you want to get it perfectly done all right and now the hand so the where the hands are the, this is the problem i'm having so the hands should be inside here so you have to take off these lids off uh, yeah sure let's just drop them as well uh you have to take off these lids for some reason now i'm having trouble getting them off before they came out extremely easily there we go we have them off so you can see at the moment they are empty so the way how you're supposed to bring those out is that you're supposed to extend these parts out 
here, you extend them outwards. And then if you push this down here, it's supposed to push out and then the hand should be out there and you lock the, them into place. Same goes for here, um, extend here, uh, push it outwards, lock it into place, and then you attach it to here. Now you might be wondering why don't you have the hands on? Or why, where did I put them? So let me just attach these parts first. So in the show, the, the stealth guy would actually have these still on its jets and then they would just slide up and connect it to the arm. But once again, I guess they could, that was a little bit of limitations here going on here. Um, so yeah, actually I'll get into that later. So that's, I think that's something I should mention on part three. So yeah. Um, okay, and then since we're done with the hand and then you pretty much cover up the hel helmet uh, area or head area. So this might get tricky, but once again, you have to get in the right position. Actually, because like you can kind of tell why they use the bendy wires going on here. So you're supposed to get it onto the back, and then now you could technically, if you're if you're lucky, you can technically win this and with the faceplate on. But most people I've seen could not do that because the faceplate just flies off. So if you got the helmet in most of the correct position, then you can actually close the face with the face mask a little bit more easily because you because without the without in this situation the part can actually fall off a little bit easily without any um, anything holding it on the back. So once again, uh, everything's getting a little bit messy. So once again, I'll be right back with all the cleaned up version. Okay, I'm back. So I was able to slap on the face mask on or face plate on and it wasn't easy. So I've actually did hear a few comments or uh, opinions regarding the combination here and I can see why uh, they mentioned that the overall final fusion or combination process is just annoying. I can kind of see why that is the case. So yeah, there are some annoying parts. So but for the combination compared to the DX version, I think they did it did a really good job being, being pretty faithful to the original anime as well. Uh, not exactly identical as the DX toy, but once again, they did an excellent job. Of course, there are just a lot of parts that need to be, like you need to fiddle around a lot, so that is a downside. But I wouldn't consider, consider that to be a critical part. But yeah, I think the facial part can be a critical thing to some people or not, uh, but yeah. All right, so you guys seen the overall uh, combination process. So I think we're pretty much done on part two here. So on part three, we will be looking at Gao Gai Gar in terms of his articulation, any of the parts that we are supposed to use with him. And I'll be mentioning the, the number one critical issue that I'm having with this guy, which pretty much is not going to make me buy any more Gao Gai Gar kits unless they fix it. So anyway, stay tuned.